Okay, very good. So currencies that belong to different countries, they trade one for another one. You have to convert your money in a different currency if you want to do what? For international trade, if you travel to a foreign country, you need money with, uh, from another country. So you make this conversion. And the conversion will take place at an exchange rate. Now we have two kinds of exchange rates. We have nominal exchange rates and we're going to see the real ones. So the nominal exchange rates are the ones that we see if we go to any exchange office. If you go to a bank, you will see there something written. And now keep in mind there are two kinds to write exchange rates. You can have a direct quotation, which means you have national units from one, for one foreign unit, is what we, we do in Romania. We say 4.5 lei for one euro. This is called direct quotation. But you can also have indirect quotation when you say, like when you are in US and you say, uh, 120 Japanese yen for one dollar. So you see, you, you put foreign units for one national unit. But the real exchange rate, you see, it's about the trading goods and services. And the way you, you should understand this, it's if I take a basket of goods and services in Romania, let's say I put there chocolate, milk, uh, oil, bread, whatever, and I take the same identical basket in another country, I go to Germany or I go to US, and now, now I want to see what is the ratio in purchasing power. This is the, the true uh, word. How much can I buy from, with the same money? How, can I, how much can I buy in Romania? And how much can I buy in another country? And this is a real exchange rate when I compare goods and services traded in different countries. I'm in an exchange rate, 4.5. Lay for one euro. This is a direct quotation of our exchange rate. Right. And now if I go to like 4.6 RON for one euro, this is T0, this is T1. What happened here with our currency was the appreciation or depreciation? It's a depreciation because you see, I have to pay more national units for one foreign unit. My currency is weaker than before. But if I have here 4.4, I would say it's an appreciation because my currency will buy more from the foreign one or less national units will be needed for one foreign one. Now the same logic will apply for real exchange rate too. A popular way of calculating exchange rates, real exchange rates, is to use the big man. The big man. Like this, if I call like big E, this is the real exchange rate. This will be equal to the nominal exchange rate multiplied by P over P, but now I'm gonna put the foreign price here on top because I don't quote foreign units for one national, I quote national units for one foreign. And let's calculate it for, for Big Mac. Uh, Romania versus United States. I have a nominal exchange rate of four lei for one dollar. So I can write four ron. I will stay here. So I will write like this. Four ron for one dollar multiplied by what? Price of the Big Mac in United States. And I think it's 2.5 dollars. It's not an exact price, but uh, it's what I... Uh, I heard it is $2.5, and I, I also don't have the perfect information, but I think it's nine lei in Romania, the, the Big Mac right now. Oh, that's right. Wrong. If it's not the perfect number, don't worry. It's just an example. But it's somewhere in this region. Okay, how much is the real exchange rate? Okay. We get rid of this, so it will be like 10 over 9, which is um, somehow 1.1. 1.1 Romanian Big Macs. I'll make here Big Mac. Okay. This is from Romania. For one US Big Mac. Do you see a business opportunity? 
if you look at this real exchange rate. So it's 1.1 Romanian Big Macs over one American Big Mac. So you buy Big Macs in America and sell them to Romania for a profit? You, would you like to import Big Macs or export Big Macs? What do you think? If the same money is buying you more of a Big Mac here than in US, which means Big Mac is relatively cheaper or more expensive here? is relatively cheaper here, so the business opportunity would be to buy Big Macs in Romania and export them to United States. A fantastic appreciation of our currency. Let's suppose I go here to two. Now, our currency is getting really strong. I move from four to two. This will be like five over nine. And this would be like what, 0 0.5 something. What do I have now? A real appreciation or depreciation? Very good. I have an appreciation in the real exchange rate which will make imports more successful in Romania. I should import Big Macs. You saw this example, four. Uh, here was 2.5, here was 9, and there was a 1.1 real exchange rate. You, you, you saw this. Huh? Now, let's suppose I have inflation in Romania, inflation, high inflation, and everything else stays the same. Huh? So inflation is higher here. I will have 4, 2.5 over 10, which makes 1. What happened with the real exchange rate? Appreciated or depreciated? Because inflation in Romania made the Big Mac more expensive. Yes, but if you look here, there are less national units for one foreign unit. You see? Which means real exchange rate appreciated. The money will buy less in Romania. The same money will buy less, which means it's an appreciation in real terms. <laughs> it just said you buy less, but it's an appreciation. Yes. What was the real exchange rate? Units of goods in my country versus units of goods in other country with the same money. And the inflation will make me buy less in my country, which will make an appreciation. So I had 1.1 Big Macs for one American Big Mac, I have one Romanian Big Mac for one American Big Mac. This is an appreciation, which will do what to exports of Romania? Decrease them. Will negatively impact my exports. 